Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to use GE software, Prophecy Simplicity HMI Scanner, to open the screen or face plate that we want to call by using the button, yes. Example, I would like to open uh, this uh, face plate. So I just click the button, I will got the screen or uh, face plate. Okay. Actually, if we have a lot of uh, screen, we no need to uh, click one by one to open. We just have the main screen and then we can call or open the screens that we want just click only uh, one button okay so uh, let's go to uh, Provisi HMI scanner simplicity software to uh, know how to uh, open the screen I will explain step by step about how to use the procedure to uh, open or overlay the screens okay so uh, let's go okay first uh, open the workbench I will use the existing project that we already learned in the previous video yes let's see here in the last video I already uh, create the screen of uh, analog output yes so today we will call the screen one by one by using the button okay so first start the project yes click start and click ok wait a moment for starting the project yes because we need to uh, run the project before we uh, can use this uh, project okay so uh, wait a moment okay so uh, right now we already uh, started the project so first create the new screen yes right click and then new make sure uh, you click here yes click screens tab and then right click and then click new Okay, and uh, we can uh, adjust the geometry. Yeah, if we would like to adjust something, yes. Example, uh, I would like to uh, got the width is uh, eight hundred or one thousand. Yes, like this. Yeah. And if I adjust the height to be example uh, 600, yes, we will got like this. If I would like to adjust uh, to 500, yeah, we will got like this. And if we would like to adjust some color, let's go to a color and then we can adjust the background color to be uh, the color that we want example this color yes this color yeah yellow color or uh, some color that we want yes we can adjust it okay and I would like to uh, show some uh, function here first snap visible yeah snap if we have uh, one object or one uh, rectangle if we uh, draw like this if we click the snap we can adjust uh, step by step very fast but if we uh, not do the snap we can adjust a little bit yes by using the arrow key of a keyboard right left and up and down yes okay click delete to delete the object that we want to delete Okay. 
so uh, if uh, we use the button for uh, call the screen we can uh, use like this so let's click the button yes click here and then draw yes draw the button yes like this example uh, open yes screen screen uh, aq1 yes like this we'll, when we apply click apply we will got the text that we write like this yes and here is the button style if we would like to use like this yeah it become uh, use global classic like this and uh, standard like this and XP like this yeah XP if we, we would like to use the XP yeah Vista style like this yes I like a Vista style because uh, very simple yes right so uh, if we would like to call the screen that we would like to open yes here example uh, this screen when I click the button it will show like this yes so uh, we can uh, write it yes to uh, config the screen or call the screen by using the button let's go to uh, property right click and property and then go to event yes and then go to event name or event type uh, mostly we use uh, mouse up yeah when we click and release the mouse it will uh, action okay so I will use mouse up and then go to action yeah action uh, which option uh, that uh, we want yeah example uh, use the script or use the new procedure we can use a uh, new procedure and then uh, click new and here is the action type yes example uh, absolute set point open screen next screen invoke script yeah invoke method yes previous screen overlay screen open screen yeah in this section I will use the open screen yeah to show to everyone and here is the screen name that we want to open so uh, click this one to browse the screen that we would like to open example a q1 screen yeah we just click here and then choose the project base project name yes and uh, click ok and then we uh, click ok again yes we will uh, got it so let's test the screen so to test the screen let's go to home tab and then click this one yes and then uh, we can click to call the screen yes so if we click mouse up yes it it will show the pop up the screen or first page that we want to open okay so uh, if we would like to uh, open another screen we just copy like this yes just copy yeah to copy the button we can uh, click control shift and then drag and drop the mouse yes to uh, location that we want to copy yes and then uh, release the control and shift and release the mouse okay so uh, we can uh, go to take to change to the aq2 yes and click uh, event it's the same event right so let's go to uh, procedure yes edit the procedure to be a uh, screen number two right this one yes 
and click OK and click uh, OK again and we can test so right now we got uh, two button the first one open the screen uh, number one and the second one uh, to open the screen number two okay so uh, if I would like to open the screen number one I just click here yes if I would like to open screen number two I just click here I will got screen number two okay so uh, we got uh, two screens the first one and the second one okay and we can uh, adjust the set point yes if we can open, we can adjust something. Yes. Okay. So uh, please do like this. The same me uh, to be a uh, button number uh, three and four. Yeah. So just drag and drop the mouse and click the shift and control on keyboard. Yes. Like this, and then go to uh, change the button name. Yes name to uh, AQ number 3 and then go to procedure tab to uh, edit the procedure to be uh, screen number 3 yes click open and then click OK and then click OK again for uh, screen number 4 we can also uh, do the same way yes screen number 4 and then go to uh, procedure and then go to uh, edit the procedure and click the brow and uh, use the screen number 4 and open and then click OK and then OK again we will got uh, screen number 4 okay so we can uh, open screen number 1 screen number 2 screen number 3 and screen number 4 by just click okay so this one number one number two yes and number three okay so it's very easy to call the screen that we want by using the button and using the procedure and uh, event that uh, automatic build in the software privacy workbench simplicity scada okay so uh, I will adjust the screen to be small because we have only uh, three button right example uh, 600 600 yes like this I around uh, 400 yes if we would like to zoom, just click control, press control and mouse, yeah, screw the mouse, we will got the zoom in and zoom out, okay. Okay, so we can uh, use like this, yes, like this, we can use like this, and we can arrange by uh, select all, yes, like this, and go to arrange, and then arrange, yes, to be a uh, good looking okay so we can write the text open the screen right home draw and then this string yes so uh, we can write uh, open the screen or press plate yes Okay, and then we can save the screen to be a main screen, yes. Main screen. Okay, and then we can uh, open again, test again, yes. Okay, screen number one, screen number two, yes. Screen number three, and uh, screen number four. Okay, so we will got a uh, four screen. If we would like to uh, open uh, some screen or more screen, we just uh, do like this. So we will uh, got 
the screen that we uh, would like to open okay so this is just basic about how to uh, use the software workbench simplicity scanner to open the screen that we uh, want to open okay so thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any question please drop comment under my video i will reply soon and i would like to request all of you to like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new videos that i will create step by step so in this time i would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye